Welcome to the Glow Getters Podcast. My name is Kayla Fahey Arndt, and I'm your host. I teach and inspire leaders to step into their productive selves and find their true potential. I'm a passionate creative and scientist with over eight years of healthcare leadership experience. At age 25, I stepped into my first management role and didn't find the leadership advice I was looking for. So here I'm giving you the tools to end burnout and enjoy a vibrant career and life. Glad you're here to learn and grow with me. Now, on with the show. Hey guys, what's up? It's Kayla from the Glow Getters Podcast. Thanks so much for being here. I'm excited you're here. I feel like every time I start this podcast, I'm like, I'm excited you're here, but it's true. I am. Uh, side note, sorry if you can hear the collar. My dog, Raleigh. Oh, there she goes. She's shaking. She comes in here because she hears me starting to talk. She's like, oh, mama's calling me. I should have closed the door, but you know what? I don't care. I love her. I'm glad she's here. So sorry for that. Oh, can you hear her sniffing to the microphone? <laughs> She's giving me cuddles and licks. Okay, babe, go lay down. <laughs> I'm not editing this out because it's just too cute. So today I want to talk about a couple things. Um, first things first, thanks if you listened last week for the episode and watched my YouTube channel. So I've got a brand new YouTube channel if you haven't checked it out. It's called The Leadership Collaborative. You can find it in the link in the show notes, or you can just search Kayla Fahey Arndt um, in YouTube and you can find the channel. So it's all about leadership tips and um, connecting young professionals with a leadership community to help them feel successful each and every day. And it's essentially an extension of this podcast. So um, if you're looking for more content from me, and you like following me, but you want to see my face, especially in this pandemic time, I would love for you to go over to the YouTube channel and check it out because then you can see me and we can pretend that we're like in the same room and having a conversation, even though we're not. I'm so sorry we're not, but um, this is a great way to connect with me on a deeper level. So I hope you go check that out. Um, next, I want to say again, my course for leadership course, it's called Leader Toolkit. It launches on August 10th, along with my leadership um, collaborative membership, which I'm hosting on Mighty Networks. The link to those are also in the show notes, and also you can find videos about that on YouTube and learn more about the membership. But if you're a leader, if you lead teams at your work, um, the course is going to be all about um, creating a roadmap for learning. It's going to be all about learning about yourself and your people, knowing them really well. It's going to be about creating intentional time for yourself and essentially calendar optimization and just being the most productive without burning out. And it's going to be about how do you get results and how do you manage projects and work and life and balance? Like how do you make decisions around that and feel good about those decisions? So that course is launching on the 10th too. I am super excited. So um, this is episode's going to drop on Friday, uh, the 7th. So that means Monday is the 10th. Girl. (laughs) Hi, Raleigh Bear. Oh, my poor Raleigh. I think she wants to go outside because she sees squirrels and lately she's been, um, chasing them up trees. So she is back with me. All right. So, um, today's content, I just want to do, uh, talk a little bit about bullet journaling. So, Um, I'm going to have a YouTube video posted tomorrow. Um, the, that would be Saturday the 8th, actually all about bullet journaling for work. So if you love to journal, if you love to plan, if you're like a planner, if you're that girl that has like several pens, (laughs) all in different colors, I shouldn't say girl, if you're the guy, whoever, if you just love, um, a little bit of creativity in your work life, this is going to be a great video for you. But also if you're looking for like a minimalism aesthetic, because you're like, nobody has time <laughs> to do like a masterpiece journal that we all see on Instagram, I've got you. Like I have the best um, of both worlds. So that video is going to be posting tomorrow on YouTube. So I'm going to show you how I bullet journal for work. But I wanted to just talk about bullet journaling um, in general. Aw, Raleigh's laying underneath my chair. That's nice. Okay, so she settled down for a little bit. All right. So you guys probably know I love all the planners. I've used digital planners. I've used passion planner. Um, the, what are they called? Good day planners. The ones you get at Target. Um, 
everything, like just plain notebooks. I'm obsessed with school supplies. <laughs> Whenever school supplies come out in the fall, I'm like, yes, I need new notebooks. I want to go like smell them. So I've always loved to put pen to paper, pencil to paper, or even pen to digital screen and just like write out what's going on. And um, last week's YouTube video was all about journaling um, and uh, morning pages in the morning. And, but this is more just about planning in general. So bullet journaling, I don't want to pretend to understand like all the science about it. I haven't read the book by the creator of bullet journaling, but I probably will. There are like different rules and thoughts behind the way that he organizes bullet journaling. But essentially what it is for me is just a way to plan the present and think about the future and then reflect on your progress or the past. So um, I was sort of like, well, why do I need like a bullet journal? What is a bullet journal? Bullet journals are different than normal journals because the paper has dots on them. And so instead of lines, there are dots. It's sort of like graph paper except with dots. And so it sort of allows you the best of both worlds, which is you can have a guide to make straight lines and shapes, and it's you can use those dots to write straight and neatly. So the dots aren't very distracting. So like farther away, you might not even see or notice them, but closer up, they give you a guide so you can make nice clean lines. At the same time, they're not restrictive because straight lines on a page just assume that you're going to write left to right or right to left, like it's everything's going to be horizontal. But with bullet journaling, because the bullets have space or the dots have space on them, um, you can also go vertical. You can go up and down or you can just go freestyle and use the dots as a guide. So I love, I love this idea and this concept. Um, so what I have found is it's really easy and nice to be able to draw, like do a little doodle, like if I want to draw a little plant or if I want to like write my name in really cool font or cursive, but I don't need it to be like perfectly straight. Bullet journaling allows me to do that. But if I want like a really organized list with like bullets and dots and like if I want to shade them in or check them off or whatever, it can be great for that too. So it's sort of nice because it like helps me with my creative brain, but also helps me with the more logical analytic side of my brain. And it's like the best of both worlds. Um, I also talked about last week, um, the book, The Artist's Way, when I was mentioning artist pages. And one of the other artist tools for unlocking your creativity is scheduling artist dates with yourself on a weekly basis. Essentially what this means is practicing your craft or your creativity at least once a week, protected time that's uninterrupted. And I decided that I was gonna use that weekly time to um, doodle and draw and create in my bullet journal. And so what was really awesome is last week I took my camera that we got for vacations. It's, um, I think it's an Alpha 6000 Sony and it's a beautiful camera. Um, I didn't really know how to use like manual exposure or anything like that. And so last weekend I played around with that a bit at the cabin and I went around and I went on a walk and took pictures of all these beautiful flowers and weeds and leaves and trees. And I woke up at sunrise and I took pictures of the light and it was just so much fun. And then I used those images to sort of doodle and sketch flowers and leaves into my bullet journal for this week. So that was really nice. It just felt like the little burst of creative spirit I needed to just power through the week and, you know, stay connected and aligned and interested in my more analytical, logical work. So if you haven't checked out bullet journaling, there are a ton of videos on YouTube about it. You can go on Pinterest and Google or, and like search bullet journal planner ideas, all of that. Um, but basically most people create like a monthly spread with like a habit tracker in it, maybe a weekly look with each day of the week with tasks for each day of the week. I tried doing like full pages for each day with notes and I didn't really, I found I didn't really need that much space. Most bullet journals are like 160 pages each with like heavier paper. So you can use different really fun markers and pens and everything like that. So that the pages, you know, they're thick enough so they won't necessarily bleed. Um, when you're using like heavy duty markers. Um, some people even do watercolor in the bullet journal. So I'm thinking about doing that too. 
So my um, weekly, my spread really is a habit tracker. I uh, wanted to share sort of the things that I've been tracking. So I've been tracking um, having mindful moments. So I find that when I'm working at home, um, I'm like home when I'm working and I'm home after I'm working. <laughs> so I need something to break up the work day to take like quote unquote breaks or walk around or whatever it is. And so I've been doing this thing called a mindful moment where I don't do I only do one thing at a time. I don't multitask. So for example, I will make a cup of coffee and I will just like watch the, the cup of coffee being made. I won't like do other fun things while I'm, <laughs> I won't check my phone. I won't like try to make myself a meal. I'll just like look at the coffee and just smell it and enjoy it and just be really mindful. Um, sometimes it's meditating, but oftentimes it's just doing a simple task like that, just or, you know, maybe it's putting my laundry in, but like mindfully doing it, not just like throwing it in. So, um, yeah, I, it, that's been really good. I've been tracking that. I've been tracking movement. You know, if I've been working out, I've been tracking reading 10 minutes. Oh my gosh, I feel like my dog. Let me check my mic really quick. Okay, sorry for that. Mer. If it like was really loud and bounced around, sorry. <laughs> I'm not re-recording this because I just want it to be a real life, but my dog's collar is like super loud. I should have took it off of her. Okay, anyways, so tracking mindful moments, movement. Um, I've been tracking um, water intake, so making sure I get enough water. I've been tracking going to bed at 9 o'clock because I know I function so much better when I go to bed early. And skincare, my skincare routine. Um, I really... I've been really mindful when I get stressed out, like I break out. And so, and I don't properly like take my makeup off and everything. So I just wanted to feel really like bright and glowy right now, um, especially at the season where I don't have to wear makeup at home when I'm working. So um, that's been really cool. So every day that I do my skincare routine, I've been checking it off and it feels really good. I also sort of look at like what I want to accomplish for the week and I put whatever those items are into the days of the week so that I know when I'm going to work on them. And I've been trying to keep it really, really like limited. So I had like one or two or three goals, I think for this week, one was complete a provider survey analysis. So I was doing an analysis for a clinic and I wanted to get that done and I got that done. And then the second thing was sending an email to subscribers for the new course I'm launching and also to let them know about the leadership collaborative. So I ended up getting those done too. So I feel really accomplished, even though it's only a couple things, but they're big things. So it's like, okay, well, that's, you know, all I'm getting done this week, but it feels really good. I was able to write them down, plan it out, check it off and um, just be proud of myself knowing that I made progress. And then I made a new spread for the next week. Um, bullet journaling has also allowed me time to sort of think about like future and so I have a like mini vision board in the back I have um, a list of video ideas that I want to do list of podcast episode topics that I want to do um, and so it's sort of a, just a space for you to brain dump so anyways this isn't a hugely uh, helpful overview of bullet journaling but I did want to expose you guys to the concept just because I am going to be putting out that video tomorrow on YouTube and I'm going to show you some of the really cool um, spreads and layouts that I have um, and some really fun stickers that I got at Target in like the dollar section. So um, yeah, I'm just jazzed about it. So if you haven't checked out my YouTube, please check it out. It's in the show notes. It's going to be a really cool place to connect with me on a greater, deeper level. Consider subscribing just so that you can be notified every single time I drop a video and I'm just doing them weekly right now. And then you'll never miss a moment from me. And, um, and then, and yeah, I consider joining the membership group community. If you're a leader, your lead teams, you want some more resources from me and, Right now, you guys, with the membership, because it's my birthday week, you guys, my birthday was on Monday, by the way, it was a great weekend at the cabin with my parents and my brother, and uh, my sister wasn't able to come up, but I'm going to see her in a couple weeks, so that's really cool. Kate had a great birthday. She turned two. I turned 30. Oh my goodness. Um, 
But yeah, since it's my birthday week, the course is included in the membership. So if you're like on the fence about purchasing the course, like don't worry, it's free. I'm giving it away with the membership. And it's a monthly membership, so you can always cancel if you're like, ah, it's not my jam. No hard feelings. So all right, you guys, I hope um, it was nice to hear my voice. I know I miss a lot of you guys. And um, yeah, I've been a little less present on social media lately just because I'm trying to protect my energy and just give where I need to give, but I have some really cool content planned now that I have this channel up and running and I finished some of the tasks I need to get done last month and that this course is becoming live and launching. So um, yeah, more from me on that. Um, can't wait to hear about your journey with bullet journaling. If you guys do bullet journal, I would love for you to take a screenshot of this episode and Put it on your Instagram stories and tag me in it. Let me know that you do bullet journal and then I want to connect with you and like learn from you and share my Pinterest ideas with you about all the spreads. All right, you guys, with love, I will talk to you all soon. Hope you're having a wonderful week. Bye. All right, that's it for today. Thank you so much for listening to the Glow Getters podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please leave me a good rating and review on iTunes. It really helps me get this podcast in front of other people. If you'd like to connect with me, please follow me on Instagram at Kayla Fahey Arndt. And you can always check out my website for more content, blog posts, and recipes at glowgetterslife.com. Thanks, everybody, and have a great day.